The following program is a production of Pioneer Public Television. Grassland Jam presents a great set from Delano, Minnesota, Singleton Street. Welcome to Grassland Jam, the best of bluegrass and old-time music from the main stage of the Minnesota Bluegrass and Old-Time Music Festival at El Rancho Manana near Richmond, Minnesota. Grassland Jam is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008 and by the members of Pioneer Public Television. Now on the main stage, Singleton Street. family to start you off with. No depression in heaven. Sounds like a good thing. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> We're going to do uh, next an old uh, a tune that's often heard just as a fiddle tune, Angeline the Baker, but uh, there are words to it written by Stephen Foster. So we'll, we'll do the fiddle tune. On, this is actually looks like a little guitar, but it's an octave mandolin. Is this a big old mandolin? And uh, we'll do the fiddle tune as well as Jimmy will sing the words. And what do you say this song is about, Jim? This is a love song about love and baked goods. Yes. <laughs> Are we ready? A love of baked goods, maybe. All right.
the baker, age of 43. A better sugar candy, but you still won't marry me. Angeline the baker, Angeline I know. I should have married Angeline just 20 years ago. Angeline the baker lives on the village green. The way that I love Angeline beats all I ever seen. Angeline the baker, Angeline I know. I should have married Angeline just 20 years ago. Her father was a baker, his name was Uncle Sam. And I dream of Angeline no matter where I am. Said she could not do hard work because she is not stout. Bake them biscuits every day and pour that coffee out. Angeline the baker, age of 43. I fit her sugar candy, but she still won't marry me. Angeline the baker, Angeline I know. I should have married Angeline just 20 years ago. Here comes the sad part. There's always a sad part. Oh, Angeline, a brand new dress was neither black nor brown. The color of the sky before the rain come down. Sixteen horses in my team, the leader, he was blind. I dreamt that I was dying and I saw my Angeline. Angeline, the baker, age of 43. I fed her sugar candy, but she still won't marry me. Angeline the baker, Angeline I know I should have married Angeline just 20 years ago Angeline the baker, age of 43 I fed her sugar candy, but she still won't marry me. Angeline the baker, Angeline I know. I should have married Angeline just 20 years ago. Angeline the baker, Angeline I know. I should have married Angeline just 20 years ago. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> It's time for a slow song. <laughs> Something nice and peaceful, right? That you can just kind of kick back. And I know you guys can sing along with this if you want because it's a very well-known tune. And uh, even if you don't know, know the words, you can catch on pretty quick because it's called Shenandoah. It's a nice hot weather song, relax, but don't worry because after that we're gonna take out the little mandolin and, and that's a little more obnoxious than this one, so. <laughs> <laughs> just a little.
everybody. Thank you very much. Whew. All right. Now we're going to have Chuck switch instruments here because he just can't stay faithful to one. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to say that, you know, other, other wives have, uh, oh, if you don't know, we're married. Um, and if, uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> and other wives have, might have the problem of, you know, their husbands getting on the computer and looking at pretty girls in their bathing suits or whatever. And when he gets on the computer and I hear from the next room, oh my, what a beautiful blonde. Yeah, it's He's always a mandolin. He's usually talking about a mandolin. So, I guess I can thank my lucky stars on that one. I don't know, the mandolins are pretty expensive. Not as expensive as girls. <laughs> Trust me on that one. Yes. So this next one we're going to do. Oh, I stay right here. Um, we, we love gospel music, and we play a lot of gospel music. And so this next one we're going to do is called Coming Down From God. And no, it's not. Yes, it is. See? Oh, we were, I thought we were going to do Hide in Place. What would you do Coming Down From God? It That's good, too. Coming Down. You made this list. Yes, dear. We're doing Coming Down From God. This is old school gospel. <laughs> old school. Yes. It said, watch out for God this time. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't necessarily a feel-good gospel song. But it's got except a good for, message. Except for the actual But it says, you, you know, got to get in that number. Father's right. made it. Father's in that number yeah. that no man can number. So we'd like to do this one. Oh, we heard, first heard uh, Alice Gerard and Hazel Dickens doing this. Mm -hmm. And we hope you like it. Are we ready? Yep. One, two, three, four. Coming down, coming down from God. Better get in that number that no man can number. Better get in that number. Get in that 
It's a John Prine song. It's a beautiful song. Uh, John Garfield was uh, was kind of a famous actor and uh, sort of got uh, blacklisted in the the Red Scare. And uh, but it's not really necessarily about about him as much as just kind of as John Prine had said. It's about a feeling, about a feeling. It's called the late John Garfield blues. So. Whatever you have that might give you the late John Garfield blues, this song is just about that kind of sort of melancholy feeling. And I got that feel. <laughs> got that feel. <clears throat> it's a good swaying song. Black faces pressed against the glass where rain has pressed its weight windblown scarves and top down cars all share one western trait sadness leaks through tear stained cheeks and why no to dine store Jews Probably don't know they give me those late John Garfield blues Midnight fell on Franklin Street and the left
much. All right, now. We'll do a little more bluegrass for you here next. This is, uh, we, this is an old gospel song. I first heard uh, Chris Teeley and Michael Daves doing this, but it, it's an old, an old one. Um, it's another one of those kind of fire and brimstone. It's a no hiding place. <laughs> I went to the rock to hide my face, but a rock cried out, no, no, no hiding, hiding place. place. Kind of in sort of like a better get in line brother kind of yeah. song. We'll give this a run for you. <laughs> Sixteen-year-old who's uh, who has autism, and she and she just learned to say mm mm. <laughs> <laughs> so then no hiding place. You say mm mm uh uh mm mm uh uh. Mm -mm, uh, -uh. <laughs> All right, do a little. Uh, Very helpful for her. <laughs> little Doc, we heard Doc Watson uh, do this. A number of people have done it. It's called Lost John.
Grassland Jam is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008, and by the members of Pioneer Public Television. Thank you.